I'm gonna make a few marks on this tree, see which rigging pattern I use, and then I'm gonna start cutting out my parts. And people fit rigging several different ways. I've had some pretty good saddle makers tell me they've never seen anybody do it the way I do it, but I learned from Bob Douglas, and I think he learned from Don King. And I've done it that way ever since I learned, and that's been over 30 years. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these two out and then turn the hide over. And again, I'll cut this out before the seat is completely done, but this part up here needs to be pretty close to the shape I want. But I like to cut it out before it gets too dry. While this is drying, I'll put this on here and let it kind of dry a little more and stretch into shape. And then when I'm ready to glue it, I can just glue it. I'll just work on this a little bit more for a few minutes since I'm right here. I've got those stirrup leathers ready to hang up. Put that on. So we've got our candle backs on, and we've got our swell cover on. And if you remember, yesterday when I put this on, this Cheyenne roller was straight up because I didn't want to push it down until the glue had set up here on the back. The only disadvantage I know of doing that is it can leave a it can leave a gap underneath here. So when you go to uh, nail this in, sometimes you'll just hit an air space. If you're going to make a mistake, having it too low or too high, it's probably better to have it a little bit high to take some pressure off your horse's kidney area, especially with hard riding or if you got a short back horse. Main thing here is to And the first sometimes eight or ten stitches are kind of hard because you've got to put them in at an angle. If you put them in like this, you'll run into all this stuff down here and you won't get anywhere. So you've got to angle them so you can get a needle to go in this way. I had Chaz Weldon and Billings make me a saddle. It was the seventh saddle he ever built and he was working at Three Forks Saddlery for the Petersons and he built me a really nice full basket weighed really smooth job and when he sent it to me it was not oiled I had to oil it let's see how sharp my edger is
And those are just things that a saddle maker would look at if they saw your work and think he designed this well by doing that. Again, so we got a stair step situation. Your seats first, drop down to your ladder go keeper, drop down a little more to your rosette. Call that good.